the beginning of turning ordinary people into champion. What is it? How many words? Follow me, two words. So, your future looks like what you do with these two words. Follow me. What you become in God 50 years from today can be reduced to your relationship with these two words. We talked about last week that Jesus Christ is the vision of God. He came with the vision of the kingdom. One of the surprising things I've discovered is that Jesus did not teach his disciples how to cast out demons and how to heal the sick. There are just one or two instances when they asked him, so why couldn't we cast this one out? They said this one can only be cast out by fasting and prayer. He was in passing. So Jesus did not sit down to tell them, you know, in the future you will be healing the sick. You will be casting out demons. This is how you go about casting out demons. This is how you go about healing the sick. This is how you go about growing church. This is how you go about. Jesus did not concern himself with all of that. He did not teach people, this is how you go about making money. How you go about growing your wealth. That was not it. He, want, he gave them just one thing, the kingdom taught them. So to relate with this vision we are talking about, let's see the beginning of the disciples of Jesus. Last week we said that he came gathered people and then turned them into a school. So let's continue very briefly. Let's check the beginning of the men of Jesus. Let's look at their profiles. Let's see if any of them can be called champion by what we see Matthew chapter 4 verse 18 to 22 and Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brothers Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen that's what they were they were fishermen and from what I know fishermen everywhere and not people of extraordinary story from all I know America is a very sophisticated society Europe and um, the western world so fishermen with trolleys with all of that but these are not guys with doctorate they are not people with extraordinary CV they are just fishermen sophistication is far from them these are the core group of Jesus and these are the people that Jesus chose how will he will look for people by the seashore or by the sea yes by the, 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 the shores of course by the side how will he look for them by the side the river side the scripture says he told them in verse 19 then he said to them follow me what did he say he said follow me that was everything do what follow so i want to challenge you go study what it means to follow you know these days we are following i follow so so person on twitter i so, so i follow so so person on facebook i have one million people following me what does it mean to follow it means everything and information about this person flows into your life the day he quarrels with his wife you know it whoever he on friends even on instagram is no longer following somebody they will tell you this man you are following has broken friendship with somebody that means you are daily invaded by information news from the person that's what it means to follow am i lying can you check for those on, of you on social media if you are daily going to social media it means you will daily know what is happening in the lives of those you are following there are new locations they are new in everything if they quarrel with people you will know they have quarreled with people they are enemies if you are not careful become your enemy they are friends if you are not careful you become your friend so just guys said what follow me so the beginning of turning ordinary people into champion what is it 
How many words? Follow me two words. So, your future looks like what you do with these two words. Follow me. What you become in God 50 years from today can be reduced to your relationship with these two words. Can you rise to your feet? Say, whatever is in follow me, I receive from you. Everything required of me to follow by the grace of God, I make available the sacrifice, the time, the adjustment. Today, I submit to follow. While you still stand, let's look at that scripture. What happened? Then he said to them, follow me. I will make you. For them, they were fishers of men. Fishers of men as preachers. For you, fishers of men as a mechanical engineer, as, as a wealth creator, as a politician. Everything you do must end up bringing somebody to God. The first day he talked about that today. follow me what will i do i will make you fishers of men you see a lot of people once they are born again they, they say they become pastor that's nonsense if everybody is pastor who will pastor who so all of us cannot become teachers the scripture says so is a call a lot of people make mistakes they used to smoke do all sort of terrible things they are man now born again i don't see any meaning in anything i start ministry i start church that's, it doesn't work that way it means if you have been a fashion maker you follow him as a fashion maker the end point of it is that that business must bring people to who to God. oh you want to clap go ahead and clap that's it so follow me means you have a ministry say follow me i will give you a call i'll give you ministry what's the ministry you will bring people to me your life will bring people to god you are a politician ah by the time you walk in the political space one two three years those who never knew anything about god never wanted anything about god they will tell you that I want to. I have looked at you. The first lady gave me be seated. The first lady shared with me an experience yesterday. It's not a bad experience. During our youth service, because we had an ex extraordinary encounter in the school of the Holy Spirit about a young man who broke down and everybody was in tears, you know, crying because of his experience. Somebody has come to Christ and struggling to say that normally I shouldn't stand where I stand. And she told me why we went into the office and told me her experience. Where she did her youth service, about 100 coppers living in a lodge, Christians, non-Christians, Muslims, everybody in one place. And one son of a pastor, the mother a pastor, running a church in Port Agot, smokes, everybody knew he was a younger brother to Satan. Smoker, if you look at his eyes, you will fear him. You know, this guy has killed people. This guy is just horrible. And he doesn't hide it. And she, they had stayed for months. She said one night she was going, leaving the lodge to go get something outside. In the thick of that darkness, this guy emerged. And she, she, she got frozen. The fear, the fright, could this be this or that or that? And then she pretended she was strong, stood. And just greeted him, good evening. And the man came so close, like, you know, somebody in darkness coming close, like, see, look at my eyes. And told, and told her, I have washed you. You are different. I've been watching you. You are different. I want to know your God. So I want to know your God. My mother is a, a preacher, a pastor. I am the black sheep of the family. I've done everything wrong in life. I don't believe God can forgive me. 
but I want to know your God. And she stood there and said, she told him, no matter what you have done, God can and God will forgive you. Say they stood there for almost 30 minutes and the man started crying. So he stood there to lead him however she could to lead him to that his God, her God. Say by the following morning as they went to the pavilion where they used to pray, the prayer warriors would go to pray, this man was the first person standing there singing and praying and everybody was surprised. And when he saw her, he shouted, I slept last night because she had, he had told her I don't sleep in the night because of the things I have done. I can't sleep in the night. She said, I slept like a baby last night and was the joy on her face. She was not a preacher in that house. She was just a youth copper. And God said, I will make you make you as a hairdresser I will make you as a stylist I will make you how will I make you follow me follow me let's just see what the scripture said after that everyone 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 please rise to your feet let's prove that this is true Speak it out from all your heart. If they did not immediately leave their nets to follow him, we will not know of Peter today. We will never hear of Andrew. We will not hear of James. John will not be known. When last did you immediately or after five years you followed your life in God right now is a sum total of your obedience or disobedience you are where you are right now as a result of an instruction you either obeyed or disobeyed and your future will never be better or greater than the, the instructions from God you have obeyed or disobeyed follow me these are the simple words that changed the world that turned fishermen into conquerors of nations God didn't ask them do you know how to preach he didn't ask them tell me your experience with human beings do you know how to relate with people he didn't tell Peter I'm going to make you the head of the church do you have faith? Say, follow me. Your faith is in me. Follow me. Your purity is in me. Follow me. You see, nobody know I'm a useless. I mean, you know the things I've done. Your new life is in me. Just follow me. Everything you need will flow from me to you because you follow me. I just feel like somebody wants to take a decision to follow drop everything close your eyes lift up your two hands I want to follow you I choose to follow you I struggle with immorality I struggle with masturbation with, I struggle with pornography strong with telling lies. I am dishonest in my place of work. I'm unfaithful to my wife, to my husband. I am I'm not good enough. But you say follow me. I will follow you. I follow you. I receive your grace to follow you. Can you just lift up those two hands and just just talk to him. Maybe you have been following him for a long time. It just looks like routine. And you are so familiar with following God that you have lost the substance of it. Stretch out your hand again and close your eyes. Say like never before. I follow you. If you are young, say it. I follow you. 
you know Lord I'm not pure you know there are drugs but I follow you anyway all he told them follow me strength will come from me to you follow me your hands up your eyes closed I follow you there are these secrets I keep I don't know how to manage it but I follow you I follow you since you didn't tell me about these problems you just told me follow me how is it that Jesus didn't tell Peter that he will deny him in the future Jesus knew he will deny him he said follow me the solution to your denying me is still in me the cure to your instability is in me follow me No, you don't have the courage to stand before a slave girl before the slave girl appears but if you follow me you will recover you have toiled men have broken your heart and you too you have used men follow me i will make you into something let's stay here please as you talk to god follow me let it be said today i followed and if you have been following him and you are tired because of so many things not going the way you expected say so Lord I follow you again I may not have all the answers I may not have it all figured out just follow you I follow you my, my husband does not even know my true story but I know as I follow you what will make me that wife will flow to me i follow you my wife doesn't know she married a shadow but i know as i follow you what is in you that made the father trust you to say this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased listen to him i follow you let what made you trustworthy before the father make me trustworthy I follow you yes I'm in the midst of people who compromise and everything tells me compromise I follow you can a young girl cry and say Lord take this sin away I follow you can a young man cry take these drugs away take this homosexual yoke this lesbian thing take this shame I have been trying on my own but I've heard Peter was hopeless I've heard Zacchaeus was was a criminal I have heard that Mary Magdalene had seven demons oh I have heard I have heard that Martha and Mary two young women without husband grown up what was their life but they followed you I follow you say I hand over to you the loot I've been carrying the guilt the shame I've been struggling with please talk to him Tell him the things dragging you back. Tell him the chains holding you back. Telling him, tell him the condition, the poverty, the lack. The reason why you are where you are. Say, I follow you. As I follow you, I am out of this darkness. I follow you out. I follow you out. I follow you means I leave something behind. For them, they left their nets immediately. If it can be said of you that you have left your nets immediately, he will replace your net with his anointing. <sighs> Tell him I've, I'm following you. Tell him this spirit that has been lying to me, this sickness, this thing, I cannot follow you and carry it. Take them away. I cannot follow you and carry this addiction. I've been waiting for too long for somebody to help me. I follow you. I just want to follow you. Let a discouraged believer say yes. Things did not work exactly as I said. But I still want to follow you. 
take my family to follow you. I'm not following you alone, Lord. I take my wife, I take my sons, I take my daughters. Say, Lord, speak to my girlfriend also. Make it easy for me. Speak to my boyfriend also. Make it easy for me. Speak to the man holding me ransom. I follow you. Let this place be, be filled with your speaking. I follow you. how you turn Peter into the winner of the world. I follow you. If this is how you turn James into a great apostle, taking the first decision in the first apostolic council in Jerusalem, then I follow you. If it is this, I follow you. And I know I have not heard anyone following you back for bread. You have been God for such a long time. You have been God for eternity. Abraham did not regret. David did not regret. Jesus did not regret. Moses did not regret. Jesus did not regret. Peter did not regret. I follow you. about two hands there is healing in this house there is oil of gladness for the broken heart there is beauty for ashes there's a garment of praise for the heavy spirit Mourners can have joy. Addicts can be free. Begin to speak of your freedom. Sins are forgiven. And the simple thing is Jesus. He says, follow me. Forgiveness is found in me. Say, I have followed you. I have taken that decision. Take away my guilt. Take away. Be my Lord and my servant. Tell him, heal me this sickness. Heal me of this. Ask him for something. He says, follow me. Healing is in me. Follow me. Deliverance is in me. Freedom is in me. Simple words. Two words. Everything is found there. Follow me. Prosperity is in me. Opportunities are in me. Lifting, appointment, honor, wonder, miracles. 